Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want you to watch what happens here. This lady is a normal lady walking into a store. And she walks by a box that throws itself down onto the floor. Now, you want to think that the occult, demonic possession, there's nothing to it. It's a lie from the pit. This stuff is real. Powers of darkness are unleashing themselves in leaps and bounds in this, in this day and age because these are the last minutes, let alone the last days. And I want you to see, this is why you can't touch. When the Bible says, touch not the unclean thing, knowingly or unknowingly, you put yourself at risk. And this is what I want you to see. This woman innocently went to pick up a box and put it back. She should never have touched it. Who knows what curse, hex, or spell had been placed on it. But there was definitely a demonic attachment to this box. And that's why it purposefully threw itself down onto the ground to attract this woman's eyes and touch so that it could transfer itself. The demonic, the demonic, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, the demonic presence. Here you go. Watch this. Did you see that box throw itself? She's nice enough to pick it up. Now she takes the time to read it. Wrong move. She puts it back. She's attached to it now. There's been a transference. Watch this, you guys. That's demonic. Now, what I want you to look at is the fact that you allow your children to play with Ouija boards. You make calls and call into psychic hotlines. You play with tarot cards. You get candles. You get all kind of paraphernalia that deals with white magic. You have no idea what you're putting your hands on and what attachment, what demonic attachments can be on those items. The Bible says, touch not the unclean thing. I saw this and I said, I have got to warn you guys. You cannot be so ignorant as to lay your hands on anything so readily without looking at it first. And if you see anything that looks fishy, walk away. I'm serious. You have no idea what demonic doors you're opening by the things you lay your hands on, by the things you lay your eyes on. That's why some movies you should never watch. Now I have watched some movies that I got up and walked out of because it felt dark, it felt demonic, and I refused to be in that atmosphere. Anyway, God bless you. Just know that being in these last days there is a lot of demonic activity, you guys. A lot of it. More than you know. And you've got to be very watchful, very prayerful, and extremely discerning. Be careful, everyone. God bless you.